So where are we going from here? We're kind of in the middle of nowhere here. We could go to San Diego. That's all the way to the end of the... Or hit Santa Maria on the way. This is probably the faster way, and it pays better. So let's head out there. It's actually from here anyway. So we'll just pick up a new, new trailer. Um, is it not? Okay, so I'm here. But this isn't it. Oh, I need to go to the gate and accept it, and then probably that trailer right there. Uh, yeah, I've got a bachelor's degree in history, and I have a bachelor's degree in media arts. Both have so far proven worthless. The history degree was really more of a an interest-based thing. Uh, media arts is actually what I was hoping to go into. And to be fair, I do sort of use it in the job that I have, but uh, not to the extent I would like. So we'll just back up over there. I have watched that, yeah. It's got some hit or miss seasons. But, uh, yeah, no, there, there are some some catchy songs that they do. Some very clever lyrics, too. Well, but does that, uh, does that tie in with your teaching? Because there are some degrees and fields that are actually just useless by themselves. History, for example. I mean, you cannot really use history by itself unless you're just going to go full-on research and write, write uh, books. It's really more useful coupled with something like teaching or, you know, anthropology, archaeology. David Beckham studies. Oh. Well, I, yeah, I mean, that's a, a lot of effort, and uh, at least here expense. Yes, yeah, I, I, know he's a, I know he's a soccer player, but I just, I don't understand what, uh, what would they teach about him other than his technique? <laughs> and, or is it just football in general? Okay, I guess we'll be riding the shoulder here for a minute until there's an opening. Oh, oh, he stopped for me. Well, that can be kind of fun too, though, having a, a little bit more, uh, I guess, varied uh, focus for for work can be fun.
You know, I, I honestly would not be surprised if there was a course or a degree in uh, Klingon. Courses, definitely. Um, I myself, I did not take Klingon. I took a, a class once um, over like a winter stu study uh, that was for uh, anime analysis. It was actually a pretty decent course. Um, but it was, so it was kind of like film critique, but for anime. Oh, did I skip a way station? Or are we coming up on one? Must be coming up on one. Scholarships for Klingon. Wow. What have I been doing with my life? I could have gotten a free ride <laughs> for, for being a Trekkie. That is, that is pretty crazy, though. I, you know, American University, having gone through the system, it's just, it's not entirely practical. And there's a lot of wasted time and money on things that really you don't need. But, you know, at the same time, I also think that just having a degree in general isn't really as valuable here as it may have been at some point and a lot of people just don't even use either that education or that degree later in life I mean my dad had gone to university and got a degree in sociology and then either couldn't find work in that field immediately or decided he, did, he didn't like it and he became a carpenter and then later uh, a retail salesman so <laughs> well you know I mean that can be kind of kind of fun though learning stuff like that. Like, I, uh, a long time ago, I bought a Tolkien dictionary, and so it had, like, Elvish in it, but it had uh, Dwarvish as well, and just all the, the languages that he used in his books. Um, I learned the Dunny alphabet from the Myst games, and uh, the numerals at one point. I actually, I actually learned a lot of, not really ciphers, but I guess scripts, uh, when I was younger. Which I think actually kind of helped me when I later tried to learn Japanese. Uh, the hiragana and katakana I actually learned pretty quickly, just because learning the, the fake alphabets earlier on uh, made it a lot easier for me to, to transliterate and transcribe in my brain. The, the sounds of the Japanese. I guess it's a, a syllabary, it's not really an alphabet. Genevieve's pulling in some money already. And she's leveled up. Good. That was another thing that I had thought about doing with my life uh, after after graduating because I could not find work right away in graphic design uh, after college uh, largely because of the economic collapse but uh, so you know I was trying to figure out many things to do 
this car should not actually be going down this road. It should be going down the left. Even even the game traffic does not pay attention to the road traffic laws. Whatever. Um, so I was thinking of things to do, and I had taken a year of Japanese in college, and I had also basically been learning out of, like, for dummies books uh, in, in high school, so I knew a little bit. And so I thought that maybe I wanted to be a translator. And so I was going to go back to school for yet another degree in Japanese, and uh, with the, the thought that I would go teach English over there and then work my way into translation either over there or probably back in the States um, for for either the manga or anime industry because uh, translators can make some good money. But then I actually did find a job that turned out to be very brief for a, a shirt company is actually... What? Oh, what the hell? Um, for a shirt company here in town, so... I canceled my plans to go back to school, and that job fell apart. God, probably after after a month. It's very very fast, actually. And so there I was again, unemployed and too late to go back to school. You know the uh, the porn industry. <laughs> For translation is probably just as lucrative as the non-porn side. I mean, I'm sure there is just as much need for translation. What, uh, what I feel would be worse than doing that, though, are the voice actors who have to do it for the anime porn. I, you know, not, not even in, in the, the English translation, just anyone who has to, to voice animated porn. That's got to be quite a story to tell someone when they ask you what you do. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some very weird stuff. And, uh, not just... Not just weird, but some pretty violent stuff, too. Do we have to sleep again? I do need fuel. Okay, we're about halfway, so we'll probably stop off. Actually, we could stop off right here. I'd hate to do that and lose more time, but we're going to have to do it eventually. And stop off at the Kenworth while we get there. Actually, I could take a detour through Los Angeles. Nah, that's, that's too much of a detour. Okay, we'll stop off here. Turn my lights back on. Hey, maybe I can sleep through the night and it won't be dark anymore. Oh, you really want to pull in front of me? Whoa, hey, boss. Ah, that's not the horn. Well, that's one of them. There we go. That's my modified horn there. It's like three different horns on this thing. Okay. Here is... 
Motel. Do I really have to pull over here? I think I have to pull over here to make this. Which is terrible now because I probably jackknifed myself into the parking lot. Okay. Yeah, see how the hell am I going to get out of this? I'm going to have to back straight up and then go left. Well, not straight, but yeah, okay. All right, early morning. Actually, no, we do need to be this way. Back it up. Let go of the brake. That is not the right way to turn. Stop over here for some gas. Okay, that's probably pretty good. So, um, I know that I've mostly been playing the jazz side of Kevin McLeod. Uh, so, what other genres should I add to the playlist? I do not know if I can get in here. This is not meant for trucks. We are going to get stuck on that sign when I'm trying to get out of here. GPS, please. Okay. I'm going to have to make a tight turn here. Okay, we're stuck. This is not, not good. I'm just going to have to hope that I can turn around and I'm going to hit that pole if I don't take a tight enough turn. I'm going to have to pull out into traffic here. Yeah, I mean, there's there's other options besides Kevin McLeod. He's just one of the most popular, but I, I know there are other royalty-free uh, sources that I can can use. I'm sure I can find some more. turn to be going the speed that I am going. I mean, he, he has a whole load of genres himself. Whether he's got a lot of variety in that genre, I'm not really sure. But, uh, I don't know, I, I do have... I, I can do other things, I guess, is what I'm saying, if we're getting tired of the the jazz... Lights. Put my dash lights back on. Well, I think it depends on which video game soundtracks, because, for example, City Skylines, uh, that they they don't seem to care. They seem to be cool with you using the music, uh, and that is why I used that in my SimCity Let's Play, as opposed to the actual SimCity track. Um, but like uh, Endless Space, 
that game. Those those guys are totally cool with having the music. They don't do copyright claims on the music. So it's possible that uh, that they found a bunch that they can use. Well, okay, that's entirely possible. I might have that a little too too quiet. How's that? Can you hear that? Well, <laughs> to, to drive on the correct side for you guys, I'd have to get European Truck Simulator. Can you hear that music now, though? It's hard for me to find a balance between the, the headphone and speaker volume because they are so wildly different for some reason. Had my headset up. Okay, well, we'll just uh, continue on. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to research. What games, or really more, uh, what publishers and developers are are cool with music use? A lot of the problem with the older games that I do series on, when they get copyright strikes or claims, really, they don't do strikes anymore because they realize they can make money off of just making claims which is kind of scummy and why it's such a vast problem on YouTube, but um, uh, one of the reasons why it's so popular or prevalent on my older series is because those ones just... You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we need to stop here and pick up this dealership. Uh, is because the... The, the studios, the development studios, didn't actually do in-house music a lot of the times. They would license music from various artists, and over time, when uh, when the, I guess, the, the copyright farms started getting onto YouTube, they just started buying, or uh, rather, uh, I guess, licensing the music from these artists. So, you know, they, they would approach the artists say, hey, you know, you'll get a kickback for this every time uh, on on these claims, and they're like, sure, okay, and then they signed the the rights. Although a lot of those, those content farms, I think, also make claims without actually having those rights. I, I'm pretty sure there are several of those music claimers that don't actually have any licensing whatsoever, they just make claims. And if you're if you don't dispute that, then YouTube just lets them do it. What is the holdup over here? And uh, that actually is why. The uh, Sim City Society's Let's Play that I did, the uh, the one, the Western one, when I I did the the Cowboy Town uh, that I was trying to, I guess, use off the back of the Red Dead Redemption. Uh, that is why that no longer is on my channel, uh, because the music that I used, that I found on YouTube, 
is done by the the artists themselves. They have that channel. The, the, the guys who run that channel made the music, and they specifically said that it's free to use and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, it's fine and all that. They gave permission. Well, then they got copyright claims. Well, I have the ability to dispute that, but it was literally every song. And so there were dozens of songs I would have had to go in individually and make individual cases to dispute the copyright on each and every one of those. Which, frankly, just seemed like too much of a hassle for me, so I didn't do that. And uh, you can also use the built-in YouTube editor to pull that music out. It will it will actually mute the music, uh, which works pretty well sometimes, not all the time, but it also has a bad habit of muting the audio total in general. And I'm going to get a ticket here, um, which is why some of my videos sometimes the music or the the voice goes a little bad and uh, the audio goes a little wonky. It's because of that editing, and then it just messes up all of the auto. But anyway, uh, so rather than than pretty much cut up all of the audio in those videos and go through the massive amount of effort it would take f to dispute each and every one of those songs, I just took down the uh, the videos, which is unfortunate. Th they're still technically on YouTube. I've just got them all as private right now, and maybe. Maybe I'll post them somewhere else and uh, just sort of relink them or something as a hidden hidden let's play, but there's been a couple that, that I've done that with. N not really full series, but uh, some of the videos that I've got I've just straight up pulled down because of constant claims on them. A lot of that happened too after I lost my partnership, because the partnership will actually sort of protects uh, YouTubers from that sort of thing because they make claims on all the videos for the partnership and so it, it's difficult for the content farms to uh, basically dispute that as well so that was one of the nice things about being a partner but uh, yeah as soon as that went away I still I get some every now and then and probably Probably the worst one is on my uh, Blue Coats Quick Play video. It's one of my most popular videos for whatever reason. Um, mostly because of recommended videos. I'm not really sure where it's being recommended from, but uh, the, most of the traffic is driven through recommendations. Um, but uh, the claim on that one, I can't even dispute the option is gone. I, I can't edit the music out of it. So I would have taken that one down, probably, except that it is driving a lot of traffic to the channel. So I figure for the price of letting them make money off of one video of mine, I can leave that one up. But it still, still leaves a bad taste in my mouth anyway. But it's actually kind of interesting to me for the streamers that post to YouTube. And, uh, you know, everyone's very cautious on YouTube about that, about making sure they don't have copywritten content and all that stuff. But uh, Twitch is actually very more f forgiving, apparently. But it, it, it's also interesting that then people will post the Twitch videos to YouTube and I would assume that YouTube is still going to catch those on their end, so they can't possibly be monetizing the videos. Well, thanks for the subscribe, Dreezy. Welcome aboard.
Tijuana is closed. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, and then right before the exit, there's an accident. What the hell? Okay. So, this is what I'm talking about. If I were to attempt to get there, I would have to go through this way, which I could actually do. That might actually be okay. But... I am determined, so we're going to see if I can't sneak past this accident here. Probably going to cause myself unnecessary grief here. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Okay. See, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> Try not to get my trailer caught on the cop car. We'll be fine. Yeah, again, perfect music. Are you sure we want to... <laughs> Maybe we don't want to get rid of this soundtrack. Okay, well, I don't know why you're stopping if you're going that way, but I guess the AI just thought it needed to. Well, you know, if we're going this way, there's something else I can stop at. So we'll just pick up a few more things. Chinese takeout. Am I holding up traffic? Okay, no. We're just waiting on the lights. Do those? That's weird to me. I, I feel like those roads should go on. Because there's really no reason not to. That would actually be pretty funny. Music definitely does set the mood for what you're doing. Okay. Uh, this this trailer and I this must have. Okay. Well, the bus seems to either be stopped or what, but we're gonna take a right on right here. They really need to keep better care of their roads over here. San Diego. There's a lot of Chinese takeout in San Diego. Let's say a tequila Rio over there. 
What are you doing? It's like that car kept stalling as it was trying to drive forward. Peterbilt. Okay. This was not actually worth it. I don't think I'll be wanting a Peterbilt. You gonna... Okay. Had to almost pull into it to unlock it, but there it is. The Peterbilts are the cheapest truck in the game, but you get what you pay for. Now that I have an international dealer unlocked, though, I would like to compare them to the Max. Just see if that is actually a thing where each truck added to the game is successively better than the last one. Yeah, it's buffering. I see that. It looks like it's back. Is it back to normal? Uh, the bitrate's going red. <sighs> it must just be this time of day. Because this is usually about when my City Skylines stream collapses, too. Okay. Oh, whoa. I saw that car in front of me kept kept going and I wasn't paying attention to the light. Oh well. take it. It's just now I've got to back out. This is going to be this is going to be bad. I need to back out and actually come in from a different angle. Guys, are any of you paying attention? What are you Stop honking. Okay, I'm actually going to maybe need to think about... Oh, that is... need to get my mouse back over here. It's scrolling the thing again. Okay. So is there a way to loop around? This is as close as I can get in. Uh-oh. <sighs> what is going on with my mouse? Okay. I do not know how I'm going to be able to make that turn. If I can get into that parking lot, which I don't think I can... I don't see how I'm going to be able to come back and around here. 
Oh, hey. Here we go. This will hopefully work if I can make it tight enough. Traffic is just going to have to cooperate here for a moment. There we go. This will be a little bit easier. What the heck? All right, all right. You guys, this place sucks. <laughs> How the hell do you get deliveries here? Wasted lots of my money just now on accidents. So that'll be fun. I'm also going to take a penalty because of the trailer damage. Not here. There it is. Okay. Well, I'm late and took a pretty bad penalty for. Well, actually, I didn't take a penalty for the damage. Okay, well. But being late, they didn't care for that. Uh, I think we'll do more. More of that. Oh man, that that would be awful, Pocket Ninja. There's a reason that I would never decide to actually be a truck driver. There are some pretty bad places you gotta get into. Okay. So I'm going to take a break for a minute so I will be right back please enjoy the music